as we keep feeding our pigs, we need to know how much feed is needed to produce one kg of body weight in a pig. And that is the term you say FCR, which is feed conversion ratio. It is the amount of feed that the pig will need to produce just one kg of feed. That is, if you are measuring your feed in kg, and if it is also in pounds, that means the amount of feed in pounds that a pig will need to take in order to produce one pound of body weight in this sense. So I just want us to know and then to calculate to understand how this uh, FCR feed conversion ratio is actually calculated and how you understand it better. Because it is based on this that you know you are either wasting feed or you are making any uh, progress profitably in your pig farming. And one thing also about FCR is that the, the higher the number, the more wasted you are causing and the lower the number, the better for you. You get to understand that shortly in this video. Mostly when we get higher numbers, we try to duplicate. But in feed conversion ratio, the higher number means you are wasting feed to get the same amount of weight. So you might even ask, why do we need to know FCR or feed conversion ratio? Why do we need to know it? And the first reason is cost management. The FCR will help you to manage your cost because if you calculate it and you have higher number for the FCR, you know that you are wasting a lot of feed. It's either your feed is not balanced so it is ending up letting you feed a pig more feed before you can get the same kg of uh, body weight. So you either adjust it or you continue with it and then ending up not making any profit. So FCR helps you to manage cost. If you know that it is not working or you have been feeding a lot of feed yet the pig is not getting that single kg of weight you need, it is time for you to adjust. Either you balance your, uh, your protein aspect or the carbohydrate aspect to get the exact weight you are looking for. And the next reason why we need the FCR is also due to growth monitoring. You can't always be feeding your pets with a particular formula and not, not calculating the FCR. So the FCR also helps you to know the feed efficiency. If you have been feeding a particular uh, feed using a formula and the pigs are not gaining their needed weight, that means your formula is not working for that particular group of pigs and you need to adjust it. And again, the FCR can also act as a health indicator. If everything is in order, Yet the pig is not being able to get the weight. You know that it could be that uh, the pig is struggling with its health. So you either deworm her, so you either deworm the pig, or you give iron, multivitamins, or even give antibiotics to the pig. So the FCR will also help you to know if your pig is healthy, aside letting you know the feed efficiency. So we are going to look at how we can calculate the FCR properly. The calculation this is how it is done. So to calculate the FCR, you need to know two things. You need to know the amount of feed consumed within a particular time frame and then the weight the pig got within that time frame. To calculate that better, you don't divide the amount of feed the pig took by the weight gained. So let's just assume that you have 10 pigs that you have been feeding them with a particular formula and you fed them for uh, one month with 500 kg of feed. For one month, 10 pigs, you fed them 500 kg of feed. So the total feed is 500. And then they gain 200 kg of weight in, uh, in total. So in that case, it means 500 divided by 200, which is equal to 2.5. So the 2.5 means for that group of pig or particular groups of uh, groups of pig, they need uh, 2.5 kg of feed to produce just one kg of body weight, which is good. If you get 2.5 and below, it is good. That is very ideal. But if you get three, four. You know that your feed is not working for the animals so you need to adjust it okay but anything below 2.5 2.5 and below meaning you are on the right track even if you're able to get just two two to give you one kg you're on the right track so that is how you calculate the fcr is the total amount of feed consumed within that time over the weight that they obtained in that time and the higher the number the less efficient the feed is so you need to adjust it but 2.5 and blue is ideal. If you get that one, thumbs up for your feed formula. It's working for you. So with the FCR2, there are some factors that are affecting the FCR. It's not all the pigs that will give you the same FCR. So there are some factors. And the first one is the quality of the feed. Very obvious. If you're feeding anything at all to your pigs, expect the FCR to be very high. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, in that order. But if you feed with the correct and the quality feed, you're able to get 2.5 and below. 
that is the idea one we should target so the quality of feed also affects fcr and the next one that also affects the fcr is also the the breed usually breeds like large whites and then land grays and then even the durox for them they have the uh, like the best feed conversion ratio they are always 2 and 2.5 even below some of them but with the blue capix here's the case that is the here's the reason why we say local breeds are not just good at all the local breeds you need about five five kg of feed to get one kg of weight you understand so that's why we say if you want to go to correct production commercially local breed uh, is a, a no-go area don't just go close to it at all because you will spend more on the feed to get just one kg of wheat. So if you have a local breeds and they are not growing, don't be surprised. Currently, what we do is any any uh, literature that comes out, it is just targeted towards the improved breeds. That is the large whites and then the exotic ones we have. So usually you'll be forced as a local pig breeder to also feed the same quantity of feed to the pig. And if you also add a stick with those who are feeding the same quantity to the exotic breeds you see that you are depriving your pig the amount of feed it will need to give the same weight as the exotic breed so if you are keeping the local breed and i'm keeping the large white which is an exotic breed if i'm feeding 3 kg of feed a day you will need to feed about 7 kg a day to the pig to get the same weight that i will get but if you want to go according to what i'm giving 3 kg you end up not getting even 0.5 of kg uh, after feeding so that's the main reason why local breed which i always tell you is no go area if you want to go into commercial production because they're going to stay very long and they'll consume more feed before they grow for you so that is also a, a factor the genetic and the type of breed you have on your farm and the next one is also health health is also a factor that can affect the fcr simply because a healthy pig is what eats more if the pig is not healthy the amount of feed to take will not be equal to the what the body will need and end up not giving you the right weight that it is supposed to get so if that happens, you need to ensure that your animals are always healthy. You stick by a vaccination schedule, you deworm them at the right time, give them some multivitamins at some stages in their life, just to keep them going like that. So the health also affects how the FCR will also work for you. So if that also happens, it means overfeeding and underfeeding also have effect on FCR. So at the end of it all, you need to balance, strike a balance, know the quantity to give to each pick category. Either the grower, the finisher, the winner, piglet, you know how much to give to them to ensure they get the weight you need at that time. And aside all these environmental conditions can also affect the FCR in a sense that if your pigs are in a group and then the room is very small for them, there's a lot of heat, a lot of competition and stress will step in. If that happens, because they are stressed, they are not comfortable, they are not relaxed, the food they even take, let's just assume they compete and then they are all able to get the same amount of feed. Because they are stressed and there is heat in this uh, environment, instead of the body to convert the feed they have taken into building body weight, it will end up converting that energy into cooling the, uh, the, the system. You understand it? So you see that uh, your place will be eaten all right and then they are like, you see them very healthy. But the energy they are supposed to convert into body, meat, uh, body weight, which is the meat we are expecting in this case, they will end up converting that and channeling that energy into keeping their body cool. So they will not be too stressed. That is what you need to know. Stress can also affect FCR. And the next one is also about the availability of water. If pigs eat, it is in relation to the water available. The more feed they eat, the more water they drink. We know that in pig farming, the major cost is a feed. About 70% yes, is the feed. Which is something we always want to bring them down so that we will be competitive enough in the market. So let's just assume that after this video, you have gone to track how much feed your pigs take to get to a particular one kg of wheat. You go to see that your pig is taking more feed to get one kg of wheat. There are also tips you can use to, I mean, collect it in order to bring the FCR down 2.5 and below. So first tip you can do is your feed formulation, you adjust it. Maybe the feed you are using, the formula you are using is not working for the pig. That is why you have to change it quickly. Don't stick by one routine or one feed formula because it, it worked for you some time ago. You can continue sticking with it. It can fail you in some point. So you need to also adjust. After measuring the FCR and it's not working for the pig, you adjust it and reformulate the, form, uh, the feed. And also, if you have been also feeding your pigs and you're not getting the right weight, it's either you also adjust the amount of feed you give to the pigs. If the local breeds, like I said, you're giving a 3 kg per day, you increase it to maybe 5-6 to get the same weight. And if it is the exotic breeds, maybe you're also underfeeding. 
you can try to adjust it by increasing the weight, uh, the quantity of feed. And to cope with that, you need to also ensure that your pigs are always healthy. So don't wait for them to get sick before you try to treat them. Prevention is always better. So ensure that your pigs are always healthy and it doesn't cost much. You can deworm it by yourself. It's just a little trick. You can give iron by yourself. You can vaccinate by giving the antibiotics and these uh, respiratory drugs. You can give them. It's a simple thing you can do on your own. So you ensure that your pigs are always healthy. And the last one, which is something very uh, recommendable, is to ensure that your pigs are always in a very calm and clean environment. Ensure that there's no stress in the environment. The space is big enough for each pig to at least have a turn around in the, in the pen. So provide them with a clean and comfortable environment and also make water available for them. Right, so that is what you need to know about feed conversion ratio. If you have been seeing FCR in books or anywhere else, it means the amount of feed that a pig would take to give one kg of body weight. The lower the FCR, the more profit you make at the end of it. So always target for the 2.5 and below, which is ideal. If you get there, find ways to reformulate your feed and bring the cost down. And on this note, I end the video here.